Many years ago, the concept of hell disappeared from many church circles. So it just wasn't preached, it wasn't a popular topic, and probably because it's not pleasant to talk about. But what happened as an ironic result is that with the disappearance of hell, the concept of heaven also disappeared. A big thrust in contemporary preaching was then focused on issues of social justice. So we became preoccupied with helping the poor, providing good education, you know, eradicating slavery, and all these things are obviously good. Not one of them is bad. But the gospel is not, is not primarily a recipe for doing good things here on this earth. The gospel, first and foremost, is meant to be a preparation for our final destination, eternity with God in heaven. And this is precisely what today's solemnity shows us. So today's the feast day of the Assumption. We're celebrating Mary who was assumed, who was brought up, where? Into heaven, our final destination, our true home. As St. Paul says, we are citizens of the heavenly Jerusalem. And so then we ought to prepare ourselves for that. And far from being a scary thought, you know, people often don't like to think about the hour of their death, but it should bring us a sense of peace, knowing that all the trials and injustices of this earth are not final. They will not have the final say. So today, on this great Feast of the Assumption, let's just take a moment to put our lives into perspective of the big picture. Our time here on earth is simply a journey. It's a segue to heaven, our eternal home. And we ask the Blessed Virgin Mary to protect us as we make preparations for our final arrival there.